Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back for lesson eight of packet four um, in week three. Okay, we today are going to use our same sentences as yesterday for comparing weight, but today we have this new object for our lesson. Does anybody know what this is called? Very good, it's called a balance scale. And when you put items in here, we can see whether they're heavier or lighter. So we're going to use our same sentences Blank is heavier than blank. Blank is lighter than blank. Blank is about the same as blank. And we're going to use the balance scale to figure out the things that we measured yesterday to see if we were correct on our comparisons. So yesterday I used a card and I used the glue. We thought that the glue was heavier than the card. The glue is heavier than the card or the card is lighter than the glue. We're gonna put them in our balance scale today and see which one is heavier or lighter. So I'm gonna put my card in, and I'm gonna put my glue in, and oh, wow. So wait, think about this for a minute. The other day, we saw our picture of the seesaw with the elephant down low and the ant up high. And now we're seeing the glue down low and the card up high. So what does that mean for the weight? Very good, that the glue is heavier than the card. So when we said the glue is heavier than the card yesterday, we were correct and this helped us check to see if we were correct. All right, let's try another one. Let's see, we have a cube and we have a stapler. Which one is going to be heavier, the stapler or the cube? Very good. I think so too, that the stapler will be heavier than the cube, but let's see. We put our cube in and we put our stapler in. Wow. The stapler is heavier than the cube. Very good. All right. Let's try using our sentence blank is lighter than blank. So I have another cube and I have my glue. And which one is lighter? Which one is lighter? I think so too. Very good. I think that the cube is going to be lighter too, but let's put our glue in. Let's put our cube in. And because the scale is up high with the cube, the cube is lighter than the glue. The cube is lighter than the glue. Let's try another lighter sentence. I have my connector piece and I have my glue stick. Which one do we think is going to be lighter? Very good, the connector piece. So we're gonna put our connector piece in and we're gonna put our glue in. And very good, because we have the connector piece up high, that means it's lighter than the glue down low. So the connector piece is lighter than the glue. Very good. Now, we have that sentence down there at the bottom that says blank is about the same as blank. So we're gonna see if we can put a card and a cube in, because yesterday we thought they were about the same, we're gonna see what it does. So there's the card and there's the cube. They're about the same. The cube might be a little bit heavier looking at the scale, but they're about the same. So the cube is about the same as the card. Very good. Now we have the tape and the glue. What do we think? Heavier, lighter, about the same? Let's see. Mmm, the glue is heavier than the tape. The glue is heavier than the tape. I wonder if we put a few cubes in. Nope, the tape is definitely heavier than these cubes. Let's see. Oh, I know one. 
We had an apple yesterday from our counting activity. And we have the card. Do you think that they're lighter, heavier, or about the same? I think you're right, they're about the same. Yeah, they're about the same. The card is about the same as the paper apple. So today, you have a sheet on your home learning journal that has a scale like this and it's tipped heavy and it's tipped light and you have pictures that you're going to cut and paste onto your scales. I hope that you're excited and I hope to see some pictures of you cutting and pasting your pictures for your scale. Remember that this is a balanced scale and this helps us to determine if it is heavy or light. Heavy when it's down low, light when it's up high. So have fun doing your cut and paste and I'll see you tomorrow for your next math lesson. Have a great day.